Today on the channel from Powertown Ultras Series 1, we got the great Luthez. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Power Town unboxing and review. And today, from the Series 1 Ultra line, we've got the hooker himself. We got Luthez. But for all your other wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get the deal out there. And of course, we're gonna do this review. Like we do all the other reviews on the channel, we're gonna take a look at the packaging, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, and today we got one of the all-time greats in wrestling history. We got Lou Thez, and Lou, one I've really followed, especially in the last 20 or so years, maybe even longer than that at this point, is just up the road from me. It used to be a half hour away, now it's about an hour and 40 minutes away, is the Lou Thez Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. I've been there every single year, except I'm missing it this year, and I missed it last year. But the last 20 years or so, I was there every single induction weekend for the wrestling card, the induction, the Hall of Fame, all that stuff. So I've really came to uh, appreciate Luthez more than ever. As a kid growing up, Luthez was long off TV. He wasn't a part of anything. I just remember the PWI magazines, things like that, showing his final match at when he was like 72, 74 years old. He was taking on Masahiro Chono from Japan, who I did know from WCW, of course, at the time. But that was his final match against Chono, and he did lose that. But I remember thinking, wow, this guy's 74 years old doing all that. Well, then years of going to the museum, seeing that, seeing like his boots, seeing his robe, seeing his title belt, seeing a lot of stuff throughout history, just very cool. Made me appreciate Luthez a lot more than I think a lot of people do in this day and age, unless you're much older than me. I think my age and below, there's not a lot of appreciation for Luthez anymore. And that's one cool thing Power Town's bringing, because you know at the end of the day, I'm just a classics guy, so I do love stuff like this. Obviously, very plain Jane. This isn't the Road Warriors, after all. But Luthez is a name that still sticks with us. And even back into the 90s, 2000s with the Luthez Press, Stone Cold doing it in about every single match, keeping his name alive out there. So I'm very happy to see Luthez back in the playground of wrestling figures. And as far as I know, I think this is his first ever figure. So a little bit of history here with this one. Uh, so let's dive in. Let's see what's going on with old Luthez himself. The hooker himself, for just uh, trapping people in submissions all day long. But there it is, Luthez looking good right there, looking interesting, and there's his head poking out at the top as well. He looks interesting. He almost looks like some stereotypical doo-wop singer back in the day. Maybe he looks like Ronnie and the Red Caps, Ronnie James Dio before he was Dio, and before there was Elf, before there was Rainbow, before there was Black Sabbath, there was Ronnie and the Red Caps. He looks like he's going to sing some doo-wop or something. Who knows? But that's Lou looking only like a Lou could look in his first ever action figure. We do get that title belt. What is it? The World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion belt included. So the old school title belt there. Of course, he is mostly associated with the NWA title belt he had for many, many years. But we do got Luthez right here. Powertown logo as well. Powertown, Luthez, looking good. Got the robe on. He could get right out of the bathtub and go right to the ring in that uh, robe if he needs to. He is number two in Series 1 because it says right down there. Then on the back of the package, you got the big cross sell. Of course, we're unboxing all these. And once Kerry Von Erich comes here in a couple of weeks, we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that. Glamour shots up top there for old Lou. And on the side, we get the old window box looking really good. And then we get the War and Peace. Man, I'm here for this. I love all this. Especially for people that maybe don't do, know Luthez. They can get a little bit of an education there on the side. So I do think that is pretty cool as well. Seven-inch scale figure, Power Town, where wrestling lives on. But let's get old Luthez out of the package here. I'd have to think they should have sold a bunch of these to that Pro Wrestling Museum. I think it would uh, go pretty well. People tour in the place. You know what? I need a Luthez figure to uh, remind, my, remind myself. Maybe Power Town could do a special repaint for the Luthez Museum. Power Town, get a hold of me. I can hook that up. We could make a special run out there. You could put him in a blue robe or a red robe or something different. Have that the Luthez Museum exclusive. Oh, I think that would go a long way. We'd get the name out there. Uh, but there's old Luthez looking good there. All kinds of stuff in the old plastic prison. Let's pull them out. Let's see what's going on. We got tape down here. So they're all taped except for Magnum TA for some reason. I don't, I don't know what was going on there. All right, Lou. He is out of the package. He is out of the package. There it goes. See you later off to the side. First thing that comes bouncing out is the extra hand for Luthez. 
and it is a fist. What are we doing here? Now, Luthez was one of those die-in-the-woods pro wrestlers, pro wrestler back in the day. He wasn't using fist unless he really had to, really had to. This fist should have went to Bruiser Brody. This fist should have went to Stan Hansen. I'm going to grab him right now. I'm going to grab Brody. I got him right here at the ready here. I'm going to pop this hand off, and I'm going to put this in here. See if that fits. Oh, that's tight. Why doesn't it fit? I figured they'd all be... Eh, it fits. So there we go. But boy, that is a small fist for a guy like Bruiser Brody. It looks like a little kid's hand. But it would be nice to move these things around a little bit is what it would be. Uh, definitely Brody needed fists on him. And it's weird to me that Luthez got a fist. when I would say him and Vern are the two that need the fist the least because they're more wrestlers and hookers and things like that. What do I know? What do I know at the end of the day? We do get the towel here, of course, very Bob Backlund, very Vern Gagne, very Luthez S. Towel around the neck, always looking good there. Now, we did get the most out of our molds, as we will see this with Vern Gagne as well, as we already saw. Then you get the title belt here, and man, I remember seeing these in, like, magazines, and there was a, a local gas station that rented VHS tapes in the country where my grandparents lived way back in the day, and they had all these old 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 wrestling uh videos from like the 40s and 50s a lot of them were silent without announcers and stuff but they were running them out there and a little kid that wants all the wrestling he could get i don't care give me the kangaroos uh give me the kangaroos match i'll take it but a lot of those title belts back then were really like a real belt they weren't all big like they are nowadays it was almost like a belt you held your pants up with and that's kind of what we get right here but great belt action the power town team has nailed these belts out of the park Really do like these. Love the shine on the belts. Love the strap. Love the mechanism, how they strap together. Just a very good job about the Powertown team here on that belt. And that's the first time, last time in the belt, if I ever saw one in the line there. Now we get old Lou Fez out of the package. And Lou looking only like a Lou could look if he was going to sing some doo-wop and walk out of the shower, really, at the end of the day. You do got the LT, not Lawrence Taylor, Lou Fez here. Big, beautiful robe on this one. Does look really, really nice. There's no doubt about it. You have to pull these hands off so I can get this robe off. Uh, these are a little hard to get off, too, especially with the single-jointed uh, body without all the extra articulation. It's a little bit of work to get these on and off. Uh, it's a little bit of a fight, and you want to be a little careful. You don't want to snap any arms or anything like that. This Polly Pocket style, not a huge fan. I would love to get cloth goods with this. Maybe in the future they will look into that. I guess we'll see what happens. But I would be here for cloth goods on Lou. Uh, but Lou is an interesting one. You need that robe because without that, man, it is plain Jane. But boy, if you knew Lou Thez, if you know anything about Lou Thez, man, this looks like Lou. Uh, definitely a younger version of Lou. But I almost think out of all the head sculpts I've seen so far, this one may be the best one. And it's kind of sad because out of all the head sculpts so far, this is the one people might not appreciate the most. Because I think... Vern still has a name a little bit, especially in my area, being in the Midwest. People still talk about Vern Gagne. Uh, Lou doesn't get talked about quite as much as he used to. He should. He should. Outside of the Hall of Fame, it definitely looks like him. He even got a little bit of cauliflower ear there on Lou, which really, really does work really good. He does got the hair. of Unfortunately, no real fur chest hair on here, but we do got the hair on the belly, on the chest, and even down onto the legs and the forearm. So Lou's got some hair going on. Looking good, but very plain Jane in the black uh, tights there, or black trunks. And then you get the black uh, boots with the white laces and a little bit of the white socks sticking out. And that's about it. But definitely a great head sculpt on this Luthez. Arms going to go all the way around for us. Got the bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. We got the big pins in there, but it's definitely single jointed. Hands removable side to side, back and forth. Hula hoop at the top. Really no articulation out of that, though. It's very strange. You got waist articulation, once again, very tight, not a ton out of that. We do get old Lou with the biggest splits yet. Look at that, Lou's not messing around. Feats of strength for Lou Fez right there. Very tight, no breakage, anything like that. Remember, that was the big worry with these. You do get the bend at the knee. You got that, single jointed, ankles back forth, side to side, and then the boot cut as well. So just pretty plain Jane, no peg holes in the feet for old Lou Fez. But definitely does look like Luthez. I'm very impressed with this figure. This is one of those ones not going to be for everybody. But boy, if you know your wrestling history, this is one you probably need in your collection. One of the all-time greats. Uh, really going back in the day. Obviously, you're looking at my grandpa's uh, age bracket and stuff like that. It's not really uh, for even my dad's age bracket. He was pretty much out of the way by the time my dad started to watch wrestling and stuff. But very cool to see this. And they're definitely celebrating history. And if you're celebrating history and wrestling... 
Luthez has got to be in the discussion there. And if you don't know about Luthez, check out his book, read him on Wikipedia, something like that. Get ingrained with knowledge about Luthez, and an all-time great and a guy that really paved the way for a lot of things uh, for the future, as we do know. I did grab that Bruiser Brody. I guess I have that right here. We'll just compare those guys side by side, but definitely a height difference there. Brody is pretty big. Brody's got a little bit of weak ankles as uh, the time goes on here, but you can get him to stay still. But if he leans forward just a little bit, he's face planting. But definitely really, really good on this Luthez. I guess I'll grab this Andre the Giant Super 7, too, for a little comparison. How about that size difference? And you got Brody against him, too. So, I don't know. Supposedly, he's supposed to be six foot eight. He's supposed to be seven foot four. I'm still not sure on the scale on these anyways. Uh, their scale's kind of all over the place. It really is in all the different toy lines out there at the end of the day. But definitely cool. Happy to have Luthez in the collection. Uh, definitely a day one purchase for me. Would love to see a repaint for the Luthez Hall of Fame. Hopefully they do something like that. That would be a very cool thing. I think they could have a lot of uh, success out there with the Powertown team at that Hall of Fame. So we'll see what happens with that in the future. Maybe they'll maybe they'll tie in. Who knows? Who knows? But there it is. Lou Thez. What are your guys' thoughts? Picking up old Lou? Passing on Lou? Could care less about Lou? Let me know your comments in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you on the Patreon, including early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. We got it all over there on the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel as a member. You can also support the channel for SNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the great Lou Fez, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.